<sighs> I'm bundled up, but I over or under or something estimated this morning when I leave out in the, when I leave out from the township in Salamante up there. I was walking down. As soon as I got out and I started walking, I realized, hey, it's like a, it's not going to be cold today. It's like winter's over already here in South Africa. It only took like a month of winter. Now it's like getting hot, hot in the morning. You know, like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm walking. And it's like whoa, and so I feel better. Um, I had a, um, I was down in. Uh, uh, down King Williamstown uh, the other day, and I was coming back. I take the taxi back, and um, and I was on the end. My own business of reading, reading my book, you know, reading my, uh, my studies, and um, and uh, brother tapped me on the shoulder. Hey, brother Sloan, I'm like, oh, hey, how you doing, man? And uh, so we started engaging conversation. You know, it takes about uh, 40 minutes more or less to get from uh, King Williamstown up to to Alice. And so, so he started asking me questions and talk. We just chat a little bit. Now then he asked, he kind of did something that's kind of strange, not strange, but uh, I, first of all, one of, the, one of the opening questions was, he's just like, well, you know, brother, you, you, aren't you in your, it's like, well, I am retired, but I mean, aren't you in your, you know, in your older phase and shouldn't you be relaxing at home and stuff like that? I always see you doing this and that and moving and, and stuff like that. And I said, well, I said, well, I think that, first of all, I said, well, who told you that? <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then I, then I said, well, look, here's the thing. When people retire, what they're using time from is a job, something they did, didn't necessarily want to do anyway. I can't, re I'm, I'm, I don't think about retirement because I, I, I do my passion, you know what I mean? People have a problem. You don't, you don't expect a, a musician to retire or, or an act, you know, a, a performer to retire. But, you know, I do audio drama. That's what I've been doing since, you know, 1986. And, you know, I've been going like, you know, so it's not like I can retire from my, from my love, from my passion. So that's where people get around. Plus, you know, what happens is society tells you to do stuff and then you sit at home and you're doing nothing. You know, you're, you know, you're supposed to be raising your grandchildren. What are you supposed to be doing? So we then went on to other things, and we just talked about a, a bunch of things, you know, um, uh, things. Because a lot of the time, the young young people see me right here. Sometimes they ask, some people engage, and you know, they're just like, they like, whoa, they sort of in awe. And usually, I just tell people, look, like, yeah, you know, just check my website. You know, just just engine search me. You find out what you want. I'm really that interested, but I'm not into that. <clears throat> anyway, um, but then he said something after after a while. We was going past a middle drift. He says something very interesting. He says, well, you're a socialist. And I'm going like, who, who, where'd you get that from? You know? And then I realized, I said, I said, look, you, you're, you're, you're calling me something. That's fine. You're, 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 you're labeling me something. But if you were to ask me what I was, I would say, I'm an Anthony. He says, oh, I said, yeah, I'm an Anthony. I, you know, you sure part of me. You know, you, some of the things I espouse, you might call it socialism. I mean, I'm, you know, you know, you can't even say Marx something because Marx is really an, an observer. You know, he, he commented on things. He really did start a whole point, start some things. But the point is, you know, or, or if you if you talk about democracy or whatever it is, um, these are just uh, labels they use to put you into things so they can identify you, and then if they identify you, they can attack you. You know, or they, if they cage you, then they've got you. Like that, uh, but I'm informed by a, by a by a bunch of things, you know. Uh, here, I'm wearing a Steve Beacon from the Steve Biko Foundation. I'm wearing a uh, I was down there, Steve Biko country, you know. Uh, going like, you know, that doesn't mean I'm following Steve Biko. I mean, I'm informed by Steve Biko. I mean, you know, here we are, University of Fort Fort Hare, and you know, my one of my favorite you know, African heroes ever is as Mangalisa Robert Sabukwe, you know. But I'm not a Sabukweist or, or or an PAC or even, you know that that kind of thing. So so then I really got to thinking and and, and and I realized that that's the problem. I mean, but that's that's one of the problems that we have. You know, if you're a student, you know, I mean, people actually look at me as a student. They, they have talk about Robert, uh, uh, Magnus Robert Sabukwe. You know, when he was on, when he was going to Fort Hare, he was a little older. And they would just call him professor. People just say professor. People call me professor all the time. I get tired of trying to correct them, so I just let it go, you know. Uh, but, but but the thing is, what do you call yourself, and who are you really? And if you, and if you're informed by a bunch of things, at one point you might be this, and at another point you you're something else. I mean, you might be a, a criminal for most of your life, and all of a sudden you become a, a pastor. 
or you might be a pastor and become a criminal. You know, so, so, you know, at a particular point, and what, what are you? But, you know, but you're always you, you know? Um, and, and so my whole thing, I, I guess, if somebody was to ask me oh, what I am, sure, uh, I'm an Anthony. Well, what, what, what's the translation of Anthony? Anthony, the Anglo root of Anthony is uh, incomparable. So I'm an incomparable. Yeah. Or more specifically, uh, I'm an audio dramatist. That's me. T. Thunder Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect.